this one. It has style, like you. It's fully loaded, in condition, has horsepower to spare. I just want something practical. It is practical. It's great on gas, has all the safety features. Come on, hop in. It's not me. You have to see how this feels. I can't afford this. What well, can you afford, right? Can you afford to pass up a car that's going to get you more ass than a fucking toilet seat? <laughs> Sold! Second one today, bitch. I'm in the lead. Too bad I get credit for it. Funny. I was up. So where were you? In the bathroom jerking off? That was my sale. So take your little marker and put your check next to my name. I ain't putting up with this shit because your daddy owns the dealership. You put up with this shit, little man, or you're fired. Bullshit. Try me. Fuck you, dickhead. <laughs> Oh, it's painfully obvious. Fuck you, and it's my house. I guess you didn't get the notice. What notice? The one that says it's not your house anymore. What did you do with the money? Spend it all on Oxycontin? I spent it on groceries, wise ass. Groceries? What groceries? Why don't you pay the goddamn rent? Because I just got fired. Wife trust you with this kid, Randy? It's going to be smoking free, you know it. He already does. Only second hand. <laughs> Makes him nice and sleepy, though. Don't a kid. Yo, baby, come on. Hey, what do you need? <laughs> you give me an eighth, man? Can you front it to me, though? I'm loaning the cash. No. I ain't fronting no eighth. Why not? 
You front people in the matter of weed is likely to turn a profit, so they come back at you with some cash in your pockets. I start handing out eights, next thing you know, I'm chasing morons all over town for 20 bucks, no fucking thank you. I'll tell you what, though. You can take a pound and owe me a G if I ain't fronting you no eighth. You let me owe you a thousand dollars, but not twenty. I give you a pound, you're likely to turn a profit. I give you an eighth, all you're gonna do is get fucking high. Now, I get caught with a pound of weed, I'm gonna get a fucking jail sentence. I get caught with an eighth, I'm gonna get a ticket. I know a guy got busted with twenty pounds, all he did was piss in a cup for six months. Well, every guy like him gets lucky, there's some other asshole. He's getting ten years for a QP. Not for your first offense, trust me. Look, you play this safe as like a nice little bonus at the end of each month. I've been working in this shop 60 hours a week consistently. I got a wife that works full time. This is the only shit that lets me and Trish pay the mortgage, put some food on the table, and have a few bucks to spare. How about a QP, man? Give me a quarter pound and we'll no, see how it goes. No! Take the pound, or get the fuck out of here and come back with some money. I don't know. I'll buy your shake for five, though. That dirty bastard. <laughs> so why'd you get fired this time? The owner's son was being a fag. So? So I told him to fuck off. Well, maybe if you stopped telling people off, you'd stop getting fired. I ain't taking no one's shit. So what are you gonna do for money? I gotta do some shit where I get paid. I have a nice house, fat ride, hot bitch. Not worry about my rent or my dope addict mother. Right now though, I need uh, 20 bucks for the cover charge. What makes you think I have 20? We you spend it all in blow again? No, I'm quitting that. <laughs> yeah, I heard that before. Yeah, yo, motherfuckers. I met these cats in the clinic. They're from the city. As soon as they get sprung, they're gonna hook you up with a key. Oh, pure shit. Bullshit. Oh, yeah? As soon as I get on. Okay, I'm reloaded. You motherfuckers think you're big time? You're gonna die big time. Here comes the cane. <laughs> Come on, Corey, let's get kicked, bro. Nah, he quit, man. He quit? Come on, don't be a quitter. You're gonna be good at anything, you gotta stick with it. I got a nice 60 for you guys. I got 40. Thought you quit. 40. 60. Fuck me up, bitch. I just got out. Alright. You owe me 20, though. What do you gotta do that for? You know he has a problem with that shit. What are you, his mother now? No, I'm his friend. You don't get it from me, you'll get it from somebody else. Which one's mine? What's it matter? Well, that one's longer. But this one's fatter. You want the fatter one or you want the longer one? Just fucking with it. No, no, wait. That's the one I want. I want that one. You sure? Yeah. I want to cut him next time, though. Fine. And I want to hold the back. Just do the fucking coke, Eddie. Fucking hog. Don't fuck with me. Look at this fucking whore, man. She's so hot. I mm, suck this shit right out of her ass. Serious, dude, I would. What'd I just say? What'd I just say to you? Mm. Give it up. So with some personal attention. Oh. You want some personal attention, baby? Uh-huh. Let me pour you a drink, baby. Okay. Uh -huh. oh. No! Nice work over there. I'm Little Man, what's your name? Alexis. Donnie, how are you? Good. You wanna go hang out in the back room? Sure. It's two songs for 20 bucks right now. A loud dance? It's two for one night. Why don't you give me your number, we can kick it sometime. Why don't you buy a private dance for me and we'll see about that. Oh, it's like that, huh? It's all business. Why don't you quit wasting time with this broke loser? Come on, baby. Why do you always want to come here? Check out these cars, man. Yeah, but we can't afford them. What makes you say that? Because we're from Bristol. So what? The only guys from Bristol who drive nice cars are the ones who own the factories. And we don't own any factories. You don't need to own a factory to make some loot, Core. You're going to see, man. One day we'll be pipping rides like this, getting all the hot bitches. Get the fuck out of here. You don't even have a job. Yes, I do. I got hired yesterday. Get these there in 30 minutes or less. No fucking around. Okay. One more thing. We wear our hats like this around here. Hey, bro. 
Do you order the pizza? <laughs> oh my crap. A <laughs> little man, right? From high school. Yeah. It's 1875, bro. <laughs> yeah, here's 20. Keep the change. Listen, man, don't come back here with a half pound of broken up weed and some sob story about how you can't move it. And don't drag your feet either. A month goes by and I don't recoup, that's when I come looking for you. Where am I gonna go? You gotta come looking for me? Good, then it's on you. Remember what I said, keep your friends close. And your enemies closer, I know. Is this good shit? It's the best. Beat it. That ain't weed. That's brown frown. It's not dirt weed. It's regular weed. I'm only selling this as part of my master plan. What master plan? What are you, Skeletor? I'm gonna work with this until I make about 100 G's. Then I'll go into something legit. Well, we better find a better master plan. Why? Because you can't make 100 grand off dirt weed. This is the same shit we get from Randy. Yeah. Dirt weed. It's not dirt weed, it's decent weed. Decent weed at a good price. Look, man, call it what you want, but uh, I ain't paying over $100 for that. I let you walk away with this for 100 bucks. You're gonna sell it for two. That's W money, right? Yeah. Let's say I front you the same ounce for a buck 20. You sell it for 200, what's the return? 80. On no money down. That's better than W money. That's without a doubt the best fucking investment you have ever made. That's without a doubt the best fucking deal of your life. All right. Hey, Mom! I paid the rent! I went shopping! Cooper is I bought these dinners that you like, the gourmet crap! Mom! Hey! Rick Manson's World Motion Tour is over and what a success it was. God damn it. You're that weed guy, right? Weed guy? Yeah, one of the girls said you sell weed. Yeah. You got any? How much do you need? I don't have any money, but can you, like, smoke me out? Where? You try showing your naked ass in front of a bunch of dirty old perverts all night. It's a little easier when you're stoned. <laughs> Most of the girls are, like, drunk or high on, like, special K or Coke. Just like to mellow out, you know. Why don't you quit? Money's too good. Money's too good, but you can't afford a bag of weed? <laughs> I got rent and car payments. Plus, I'm saving up for school. Your parents don't help? <sighs> my parents are losers. I live with my aunt. And the day I turned 18, she kicked me out. Sounds like a bitch. I call her the evil witch bitch. <laughs> you done? Yeah. Thanks for getting me high. It's cool. You want a free lap dance? No. How about your number, though? <laughs> Shit, dude, this is like dirt weed. No, man, it's red. Dude, come on, my room reeks of patchouli, you know what that means? What? It means I know my weed, this shit is fucking swag. Hey, wait, I got one butt of this left, smell this. This is the shit right here, this is the real deal. What is it? They call it Quebec Gold, it's like 20% THC. Goes for like 3,500 a pound. That's a lot of dough. Yeah, well, it's all relative, man. What do you mean? I mean, like, 35 is expensive compared to the grand or whatever it is you're paying for that fucking Mexi bullshit, right? But, I mean, what's it go for? Like, 80 bucks a Z? That shit'll sell for fucking 400 an ounce all day long. You'd find the right buyers. You got a connection? Yeah. I know a guy. Uh-uh. No new people. But it's killing weed. I don't care. I'm not getting involved. Nobody wants to smoke this fucking dirt weed. It's not fucking dirt weed. It's regular weed. You don't have to deal with anybody. Put up some cash. It's a sure thing. They haven't go to the loan sharks. What? What if they sell it? They're gonna hold it until we pay them back. What if we? What if we don't pay them back? We're gonna pay them back. But it's my mom's engagement ring. So what? She's divorced. Come on. That's true. That is true. Dude. Jake. Got it? Golden. Good. Get here. 
A one, two, a one, two, three, four. Jake, what's with the gun? Who is this guy? I don't know. Hey! We're here to see Murph. What the fuck, Jake? Who is he? I don't fucking know, man. Well, well, well. I, uh, see you met the cowboy. He really is one stupid son of a bitch. But I gotta tell you, he is more loyal than a pit bull on crack at the gates of hell. <laughs> Jake the cake! That's some Murph, man. Yeah, these should be your friends, Jake. Uh, yeah. Jake's friends. Now, uh, you're not cops, are you? What kind of question is that? Because you know you have to tell us if you are. No, no we're not cops. Yeah, I'm a cop. <laughs> That's, uh, your final answer? No, man, man look, no, no one's cops, okay? No one's cops. They tell me not a cop. No, no, I was just joking. Not a cop. Hokey dokey. How much is it? Jake, I thought you fucking told him. Dude, I told you, it's three each. He said he had the money. I'll give you five for two. You know, you can't pay the price. You boys should have just stayed home and jerked each other off. Okay, I'm not leaving here empty-handed. But if three G's is what I gotta pay for this, I'm not coming back. You come down to my price, I'll guarantee you 10 pounds a month in business. Murph, no fucking way this kid moves 10 pounds a month. What makes you so cocky about that? Listen, I came here to make money. But I can't do that unless I can buy this at a price that lets me have a profit. Nobody in Bristol has this kind of high-quality weed. It'll sell. Sure. If it doesn't sell, he'll smoke it. Sure, yeah. You got the five grand with you right now? It's all right? Yeah, it's all right. I'll tell you what, I will accept your deal. However, if you are not back here within a month, business as usual, like you say, then you consider yourself a thousand dollars in debt. Fine. I owe you a thousand. No, no, no. Not me. Him. Is more of that hydro shit? Yeah, I busted two high school kids with it yesterday. Is the kid talking? Give me some bullshit about he picked it up in a housing project. It looks like the kind of shit that they grow in a closet. Four ounces off the street in a month? This must be a pretty big fucking closet. Four ounces it is? Same weed. I know it's not a real career, but. I kind of feel like it lets me be my own person. I don't have to put up on anyone's shit, you know? Plus, it's just weed, right? I mean, it's not like you can go to jail or anything like that. That's the whole thing. The ratio of risk to profit is good. It's not like I'm selling coke. I'll never do that. It sounds like you got it all figured out. It's step one in my master plan. <laughs> master plan, huh? Well, once I get enough money, I'll go into something legitimate. Like real estate. What about you? 
What are you going to school for? Nursing, I think. I mean, I don't know. I, I just want someone to take care of me. Like a short Irish guy who sells weed? Depends. On what? If he's nice to me. Yo, who this? Yo, let me see if he's here now. Yo, Black Top. Yo. Yo, man, this is White Boy Donnie, man. Give me holiday, bro. Yo, Donnie. What's good with the new recruit? Yeah. You better not be no snitch. I'm gonna see you at the club tomorrow. And Donnie, if this shit get fucked up, that shit is on you, my little white nigga. Bet you saying to yourself, who the fuck is that nigga Blacktop Johnson, huh? Blacktop Johnson is that nigga that been rooted from the ground up in this motherfucking drug game. I done sold everything. From motherfucking cane, hair on, all the way down to that bullshit weed you be pushing, little nigga. Ain't no money in that shit, playboy. I'm talking about I hit you in your face with a brick, nigga. Pow! A brick of that motherfucking cocaine, nigga. Keep it on the low, the money gonna keep turning over and turning over. Yo, G, I'm making like two grand a week selling blacktop shit, yo. I know you ain't making no two grand selling them fucking pebbles and twigs and shit. I ain't going upstream for ten years if I get busted. Oh, shit. Ain't no motherfucking white boy going upstate for no fucking ten years on no first offense. No fucking priors and shit? You talking motherfucking probation? Piss test or some shit? House arrest and shit. But it's an upside. It's an upside. As with this nigga Donnie, when I first put him on, he rolled up and copped this shit in a hoopty. Look at him now, he in something big. Fuck that motherfucking weed shit, nigga. It's cocaine, playboy. That's what's up. And you gonna get real used to that big ass knot of money in your pocket. I'd probably get so attached to it, I wouldn't want to do anything else. You gonna like it. That's why my answer is still no. Thank you. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? What the fuck? Fuck that little nigga, man. What? I'm your nigga, right? You my man. All right. But keep that shit to a motherfucking minimum. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yo. Come on, man. Yo, for real. Hey, Mama, what would you think about an all-expense-paid vacation? With the weight on your hand and foot? Yeah, I think I was dreaming. What if I could get it for you, though? Oh, get out of here, little man. Oh, I'm serious. I got a place in mind. It's like a, a resort. What resort? Check it out. A rehab center. You're a fucking asshole! I'm just trying to help. With what? With your drug habit. <laughs> you think I'm a drug addict? What do you call that incident with Greg? Greg and I are romantically involved. You suck his dick for painkillers, Mom. That sounds pretty fucking romantic to me. Don't talk to your mother in that tone. A mother takes care of her kids. It's not the other way around. You give me a little goddamn respect in my own house. Respect what? <laughs> this shit is hot, huh? What are you, a fucking idiot? What? What'd I tell you, huh? Don't be a hot shot, don't be flashy, don't attract attention, and you go out and you buy a fucking luxury car. Yeah, I financed it. You financed it. You don't have a job. I got great credit. I'm talking about the cops, asshole. They see you and those three schmucks driving around town in this thing. The first thing they're gonna think is ding, 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 coke dealer. Go the fuck up. Hey, uh, little man. That's your car outside? Yeah, you like it? Yeah. You see my car, right? So, um... And they're gonna take me for a ride. You wanna go for a ride? Yeah. No, well, let's go to the girls' room. I don't have to go. Yeah, you do. Uh, you tapping that shit or what? Could be. Who the fuck couldn't? She's a fucking stripper. Did you hit it? No. Nah, I've been in the back room with her though, you know. And? And it's there if I want it. Good for you. Sweetheart, let me get another one of these. Put that tits on her, man. Suck the milk right out of those babies. What the fuck, bitch?
bitch. What's your problem? Oh, I don't know. Maybe that's your practice like you're trying to fuck him in the bar? We were just talking. Oh, yeah? Little man, when are you gonna take me for a ride with your fucking tits all over the place? Sorry, I didn't know you were, like, married. Yeah? Well, I'm with him today. Today? Yeah, so keep your fucking hands off him. <laughs> Whatever, fatal attraction. You ever been with Donnie? <laughs> Ew. No way, that guy's a creep. But in the private room, you never made out with him or nothing? Why, that's what he said. He made it sound like you guys had something going on. I didn't come down here to see Donnie. No? I came to see you. There he is. McCarthy? Like a little man, McCarthy. The passenger? According to the informant, suspect the stash house is occupied by Corey O'Brien, McCarthy's accomplice, and O'Brien's mother. Are you okay? Mom. You almost died, Mom. But what if I didn't find you? I'll come visit you a few times a week. You don't have to. I want to see how you're doing. Make sure you stick to it. Sure, I'm gonna feel right at home. Hello? Come see me. I got like four fucking idiots I gotta track down today for money. Just come for a while. No, I gotta go. I gotta get this guy right before he gets out of work. I just want to see you for a minute. No. Pretty please. I'll do that thing you like me to do. That's it? You're done with me now? I told you I have people to see. Your little girlfriends? Yeah. My little girlfriend. Think you're just gonna call me up and get some ass. See if you get any next time. You called me. Fuck you, little man, okay? I see how you are. Okay. Go well, fuck your little coke horse. Get back here! Ah, uh, you don't get it. I got mad friends to sell to D. This fucker buy a crate a week. Right there. Let me work with like a half brick. I'll be your best salesman. What happened to your big connection from the inside? You're still in the clink. When he gets out, I'm gonna be hooking you up. But right now, I need something to work with. Get the fuck out of here. I'll front you a Z, not no half brick. Yeah. I'm a trustworthy guy. Hey, look, little man's here. Corey ain't here. That stupid fiend just gave me a whole ounce of hydro for a 16th of cane. Just now? Yeah, he's in the pisser trying it out. What the fuck? I thought you said you were gonna knock that shit off. But I was just... I got this thing going with Donnie. It can make us a lot of money, you know? Oh, now you're a coke dealer? No, I thought that... Yeah, doing business with Donnie. I just thought that... No, 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 you didn't think. That's your fucking problem, Corey. You don't think. I just don't want to see you get yourself fucked up, okay? I know, but you're always saying, you know, expand the business. Corey, how many times do I have to tell you we're not coke dealers? Yeah. We got a good thing going on here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then let's not fuck it up. Okay? I guess so. All right. Folks, raise your hands if you want to slit your wrist with a razor blade. Anybody want to shoot themselves in the forehead? Nobody? 
How about jump in front of a speeding train? No takers, huh? Hey, how about some Oxycontin? <laughs> yeah. uh, you laugh. But it's interesting to know that more people committed suicide in this country last year by taking Oxycontin than did by jumping in front of trains, slitting their wrists, or shooting themselves in the head. Combined. Or maybe you were brought here by someone close to you. Maybe against your wishes. You may feel anger or resentment towards that person. But look at it this way. They had the courage to jump in front of that speeding train and push you out of the way. Hello? I just called to say I'm sorry. For what? For getting mad at you the other day. I get emotional sometimes and I can't control it. Yeah, they got drugs for that. At least accept my apology. Fine, I accept your apology. Good. Can you come over tonight? No, I got things I gotta do. Tomorrow? Well, I'll call you, okay? You better. What? Michael. Oh, hey, I, I thought you were somebody else. What's up? Thank you. Next week, same time, same place. Hey, pal. All right. I'll see you soon. Yeehaw! He's pulling me over. Oh, uh, get my shit out. You don't have any coke on you, do you? No, why? What's a little shit like you doing driving a BMW? Road trip. It's comfortable, you know? Yeah, I bet it is. I bet you got a nice big trunk, too. Do you have anything illegal in that trunk? Do you mind if I take a look? What for? To settle my curiosity. About what? About what it is you have in that trunk. I do not consent to a search for my vehicle. I retain my Fourth Amendment rights and all other rights under the Constitution of the United States. That's nice. Get out of the car. Are you arresting me? Are you questioning my authority? If I'm not being arrested or otherwise detained, I would like to leave. Yeah, I know you'd like to leave, but you're not going to. Now get the fuck out of the car. I will not physically resist you, but I am not moving. You're being cute. I don't like that. This conversation is over until my attorney is present. Yes, it is. You, get out of the car. Corey, if you can do anything wrong, you stay in the car until they fucking pull you out. All right, stay there. I'm going to open this trunk. Is there anything in there you want to tell me about before I discover it? Just your average luggage. For a drug dealer. Who did you tell, Corey? Nobody. Who knew about the trip? I didn't say anything. Then how did this happen then? Because you're a fucking idiot! That's how it happened! Well, what am I supposed to do now? You stick to your story word for word and you hope you slide on the fourth. You tell him exactly what I told you to tell him? Yeah, word for fucking word! Well, if you're lucky, you might just get out of this, but in the court of public opinion, my friend, you're fucked. What court of public opinion? Marijuana trafficking? Can you keep it down? Late Monday afternoon, two detectives from the Bristol Police Department confiscated 20 pounds of high-grade marijuana when they pulled over Michael McCarthy and Corey O'Brien, both of Bristol. I'd go on, but I'm sure you know the details. It's not what you think. You're some hypocrite, you know it? Sending me here when you're dealing drugs? It's only part, Mom. Judges and lawyers smoke it. Maybe even the cops have pulled me over. That don't make it legal. But we broke the law. No, we didn't. The cops did. 
Then why don't you tell him it was your weed? That's like admitting I'm guilty. Well, I really don't want to go to jail. They got nothing on us. Right, I retain my Fourth Amendment rights and all other rights under the Constitution of the United States. I really don't even see why we're here. Come on, Barry, I caught him red-handed. You broke the rules, Mike. We got a court on this. You and the department are gonna look like assholes. Bullshit. I got 20 pounds of weed on this criminal. What weed are you talking about? I don't remember agreeing to a search. You think you're getting away? Because I'm going to be up your ass from now on. And to think I respected you when you worked for the state, you sold out. Look who's giving me a speech on integrity. The alcoholic cop. How's the wife, Mikey? Oh, oh, that's right. I forgot. She dumped you on your drunk ass. Fuck you, Bob. I've testified on a lot more shadier cases with you prosecuting. Thanks for the evidence, pal. It's nice working with you. You're a fucking hypocrite. So how do you like it? What is it? It's a new business. Auto repair shop. It's empty. Yeah, I know. We got a couple air tools and shit. A couple weeks we'll be up and running. Do you want to work on cars for a living? I'll make it look like I do. It's a front for the hydro. No, count me out. They dropped the charges. It's not even on our records or nothing. Yeah, but it scared the shit out of me. Why? The only thing it did was prove how low of a risk the whole thing is. Low risk? We got caught. We beat the case. And by the time the pigs find out what's going on here, we'll have enough money stacked up, we'll get out of this shit for good. Let's just take one more run at it, man. I, I just want to go back to tech school. So go back to tech school. Make a couple bucks on the side. I don't want to do runs anymore. You don't have to. Me and Jake got a whole new thing worked out. Contact paper? Same shit you line kitchen cabinets with. It's sterilized, so it kills the scent, even for dogs. We're just gonna put it in the mail, and nobody's gonna know about it. Plus, we're gonna overnight it. Gives us less time to get busted. How the hell can you be such a smart son of a bitch when all day long all you do is smoke that weed? I read it in high times. Where are we gonna send it to? Why can't I just sell a little bit? Safer if I'm the one doing the sales. You could be uh, the operations manager, shipping and receiving. I know, but I'm gonna lose a lot of customers. I got plenty of buyers. How am I gonna make money? I'm paying you to run the shop. It's 500 bucks a week. I know, but I make more money selling weed. You're the one who wanted less risk, Corey. How about a half a pound? Oh. Like a, a bit of this pound. No. Like a half a half a, like a quarter. No, please. We'll talk about it later. How about, like, all right. They say the hardest part is adjusting to life on the outside. Dealing with old situations in new ways. I thought they cured you. The program was only the first step on my road to recovery. I'm going to need to establish new behavioral patterns. You're speaking Chinese over here, Ma. What are you saying? I'm going to need your help. What can I do? You got a birthday coming up. Go out and celebrate. We never do that. It's something we can do together. Plus, we can celebrate me getting through the program. Yeah, okay. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Where's mine? Here you go. It's really funny. Sorry about that, Cor. Come on. Shit, something's wrong with the clutch. If you were my best friend, maybe this would be funny, but you're not, so can you stop it? Just breaking your balls. Come and get it. It's not fucking funny anymore anyways. You're gonna give it to me? Yes. Oh, shit! How'd you get over there? Dirty bird, dirty bird. 
Where you been? Can I tell you not to come around no more? She's off the shit. See how long that lasts. Hey, David. David. Bruh. We still have the same number. Fuck out of here, asshole. Quick draw, McGraw. <laughs> you are, motherfucker. Why the fuck don't you call me back? I've been busy. Oh, yeah? Is some little fucking co-core? I've been dealing with my case. Who the fuck is she, little man? I need to hide it myself. Yeah? Alright. Who the fuck is going to jail, you fucking liar? <laughs> fuck out of here. Fucking bitch. <laughs> oh, the fucking nut. Little man. You need something? No, I just came back to check out the shop. You have a search warrant? Is there something going on that I need a search warrant for? No. no. Two hardworking guys trying to make an honest living? Is that so? Yeah. So why don't you guys uh, play cops and robbers somewhere else? Bust some real criminals. Believe me, that's exactly what I intend to do. It's an 86. It's in good condition. You alright? Yeah. What the fuck are they doing? Fuck them. They got nothing on us. Yep. Somebody. Can I explain? No. Look, I was going through a tough time with my family, okay? My mother found out I was working at the club, and she said she disowned me. Thought you hated your mother. Yeah, but now she won't let me see my little sister, and besides, she's still my mom. You know how that feels? So you take it out on me? You wouldn't even call me back. You dumped a beer on my head. I'm gonna make it up to you. Don't. Your birthday's coming up. I'm gonna make you a cake. I'm doing something with my mom. The day before, then. I don't think it's a good idea. Please. It means so much to me. I don't know. Little man? Yes. What? Come on, boss. I'm going out for your birthday. I can't. Alexis is making a cake and shit. So? Come on with us for an hour. We'll drop you off over there. We got a present for you. A present? Well, hello, boys. I get to keep her? No. And don't fuck her too hard either, because I'm getting sloppy seconds. Good luck. Ah. Nice. Excuse me. Ah. Uh, Ow. Hey, Mushu, you know what time it is? Oh, no, wait. I'm... No. It's time for you to massage my biggest muscle. <laughs> Behave! Oh, wait. oh fuck that shit, Ron Doggy! Come here! No. <laughs> Who's your daddy, son? Happy birthday, dear little man. Happy birthday to you. <sighs> hey. Where are you? I'm at Corey's. He got me something for my birthday. Hurry up and come over. I'll be there. You're not going anywhere else, right? No. Here's your birthday. Huh. And two happy endings. <laughs> <laughs> Little man, you in? Nah, not for me, man. 
Come on, life is short. Don't be a dick. Come on, it's your birthday. Just a little uh, pick me up. All right, give me a. Good girl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Yeah, asshole. It's only like fucking three in the morning. I hope you and your faggot ass friends are having a good time. All I need is like eight grand. Ten grand is all I need. I'm telling you, the shit is pure, pure shit. You only two G's already, man. Already two G's. That's little man. He's got the dough. No coke deals. I'm not a coke deal. No coke deals. All you gotta do is give us the cash. The cash is all we need. Daniel, we will flip in the week. Now, dick. How do you know it's legit? You could be getting ripped off. They could be ripping you off. Why don't you get a sample bag and try it out? Get a bag and sample it out. Sample bag. Sample bag. Sample bag. <laughs> Is that what I think it was? I think he just shit himself. Did you just shit yourself? Look at it this way, boss. It's free advertising. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh. Wait, are you doing fucking midnight? Holy you fucking shit. Fucking bitch! Come on, come on. You fucking old fuck! Fuck you! You fucking bitch! Fuck you! Chill the fuck you. out! Chill the fuck out! You old fuck! Chill the fuck out! Come here. Chill the fuck out! It's not bad. Hey, Mom. Jeez, what the hell happened to you? Oh, sleeping. It's 6 p.m. I got in late. We'll get ready because we're going out, remember? Not tonight, Mom. What do you mean, not tonight? It's your birthday. Our celebration? We've been planning this for a couple of weeks. Yeah. Go shopping or something. Better than Donnie's shit. I could step on this shit twice, and it'll still be better than Donnie's garbage. I want my money back, though. You'll do it? I'll lend you four grand. I need eight. Oh, you need eight? Yeah. I guess we have a problem then, because I can only lend you four. Come on, you got more money than that. The question is, how much money am I willing to give you and your stupid coke deal? It's not a stupid coke deal. Oh, huh, no. It's a good investment. Well, let me see the return on the four, and maybe I'll give you eight next time. I need 12. Dude, got it? Straight off the boat. Till you stepped on it. Got something else for you, too. Nice. Okay, Captain. Ciao, baby. I'm gonna need three G's for that weed, though. It was on the front. Oh, really? Three G's? I'll give you three G's of the state money to buy marijuana, you gotta buy it off McCarthy. You fucking serious? 
damn right I'm saying I'm on three fucking G's now? The way I see it, you got two choices. Either don't pay McCarthy, and then he gets pissed off and he kills you. Then I got a coke dealer in the morgue and a weed dealer on a murder rap. Or, sell the coke that you skinned off the Alvarez deal. This coke. Use the profits to pay off McCarthy. I'd say that's your best bet, wouldn't you? I could have kept that weed, man. What do you think this is, a game? You come up with something on McCarthy. Only in three months, you're gonna be in a level nine prison with a sweet nickname given to you by the hard timers. Come up with what, man? Who will sell to me? I'll find out when this next shipment is coming in. Hey, little man. Hey. Where's Lexi? She's your roommate. I thought you guys were together. Not really. So now you can be a bad boy, huh? If I want to be. Want a party? Well, you got mine. What do you think Alexis is going to do if she finds out? I thought you guys weren't together. You know what she's like? She'd probably trip out, I guess. So it's better if she doesn't know, right? I ain't going to fucking tell her. going to believe what happened. Girl, you got laid? <laughs> yep, but guess by who? Little man? How'd you know that? You were practically giving him head in the bar before he left. Why not? I mean, maybe he'll start spending some cash on me like he spends on Alexis. You've seen that car, right? Girl, that's your roommate's man and shit. I'm keeping my man the fuck away from you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Just don't tell her, okay? So tell me. I gotta go on stage. Guess who Noel fucked now? Who? Little man. Isn't that Alexis's boyfriend? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, we ain't like together, you know, but I'd definitely fuck him again if he takes me shopping. <laughs> yeah, shit, here she comes. Yeah, so, um, yeah, when are you gonna get your shit done? Fuck, bitch! Fucking gold digging hard! What are you talking about?
the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> you fucked my best friend! I'm sorry. You kicked me out and I had no place to go. <laughs> It's gonna be okay. I can stay with you. Hello there, come on down to Lenny's Auto Sales and we'll sell you the car truck. And if you call now, we'll throw in a bottle of Oxycontin. Return your it's the greatest pill. I mean, it just lets you float away from all your troubles. Keep you high all day. Call now. Yo, man. My little man. I love you, brother. Consider you one of my best friends. I want to see you doing good, man. That's why I'm going to help you move some weight. Hmm? And when's the next time you get in, like, a bunch of them? Bunch of what? Weed, dude. I saw weed. What the fuck are you talking about? You think I'm a drug dealer? Yeah, I do, motherfucker. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I know you are. Come on, Cor. This is the best shit you ever tried. Mm. I'm still recovering from last night. Oh, yeah. When you shit your pants. <laughs> you shit your pants? Yeah. Baby. A little bit. Yeah, take care of you. There you go. There you go. Huh? Huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, look at this. Betty Crocker. Little man, I need to talk to you. Look up, boss. I think she's packing a pumpkin pie. Fuck you. Where are we going? Where's my drink? I'm drunk mm -hmm. Third floor? Ladies' underwear? I don't have a rubber. Don't worry about it. That's it, I'm done. What do you mean, done? I heard 15 fucking rumors last week that you're a coke dealer. That true? Fuck no. Wancho's the one selling it. Yeah, well you're friends with Wancho and I'm friends with you. That's about as close as I need to come to the fires to know that my ass is about to get burned. You're fucking paranoid, man. Paranoid? Yeah, maybe. I'm fucking done with you. There, Cor. What up, yeah? Got a couple little white guys here you might want to talk to. Oh, I'm not, I'm not really talking to those guys right now. No? No. Nah. I think they might want to talk to you, though. Hey, can Cory come out and play? Yeah, we want to party with you, dude. Yeah, dude, we want to party in your fucking nose. <laughs> Fuck, man. What's the matter? You're not in the mood? I'm just trying to stay away for a little while, you know? All right. I guess I have to do all this coke myself then. Whatever. I'll be right over here if you want some. Okay, I'll be here. 
Okay. All right. You sure? Whatever, you know. Of course, shouldn't do that anymore, you know. Of course, good lately. Or it just doesn't. Or it just. God damn. We don't know what you're missing, bro. Corey, man. Remember that shit we had last week, bro? Just by looking at it, you get that drip in the back of your throat? Yeah. This is like what I got right here. All right, bro. Last chance. No, I'm good. All right, you good? Yep. All right. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, fuck. God damn. This is some good fucking coke. It's really good, huh? You sure you don't want to try it? Just do a little one. I don't mean like party all night, you know, just a little fucking taste test and shit. Yeah, well, um, maybe I'll do a little one. Yeah, just a little one. Just a little one. You don't even have to inhale. Go on, boy. Atta boy, Cor. Thought I lost you in the shop back there. I just hate working all day. Seems to me you're doing all the work while little man gets all the reward. What's up with that? That ain't true. No? What about that piece of shit car you drive? Well, he's got the BMW. You're still living at home while he's got that nice condo. Right, right? Yeah, but he takes more risk. He does? You're the one sitting on all that weed at your house, right? You'd be the one that gets busted. We don't keep it at my house anymore. Keep it at the shop. Yeah, but you still drive it down from Vermont. What if you get pulled over again? We don't drive it anymore. Huh? Got a new system. Foolproof. New system, huh? Tell me about it. Hey. Hey. Where's Jim? He got sick. I'm covering his roof. Yeah, I'm trying to do his job in mine here, so, you know, I'm kind of in a hurry. What's he sick of? Uh, stomach virus. You know, the shits. You know how it is. Yeah. I do. Okay. Thanks. Okay, we're done here. Sign right here, please. Don't worry, boys. I got an ounce of candy these faggots didn't find. As soon as we get out, the party's at my place. Call me. Get him out of here. Sell 25. Possession with intent. Possession of marijuana. Conspiracy to possess marijuana. Operating a drug factory. And violation of the Cora Act. The Cora Act. What is that? Deep shit. Corrupt organization and racketeering act. Racketeering? The only thing I did was move a little weed. But to the people of this state, that makes you a gangster. What about Wancho and Corey? Corey's mother bailed him out, and Wancho's going back to the state pen. I have to get a good lawyer for Corey. I'd stay the fuck away from Corey. Why? Because right now, he is your worst enemy. Just want to talk. 
Well, I got nothing to say to you, so. See, I think you do. I think that you want to tell me that this is all McCarthy's business and that you had very little to do with it. I got a lawyer, so um, why don't you talk to him? I know your lawyer. He's a flunky. Now, you go to trial with that guy, and you're going to end up in the pen, and you're going to end up somebody's little bitch. You see, we got you red-handed, Corey, red-handed with the weed. You're the fall guy. Now, McCarthy might walk, but you, you're going away. Do you know what the HIV rate is in prison, Corey? It's pretty fucking high, let me tell you that. See, what happens when a young peckerwood like you enters the system is that all the niggas start fighting over who gets to make you their little bitch. And then one of them claims you, but the next day he gets shanked by somebody bigger, somebody tougher. And then pretty soon the anal tissue of your wet, pretty little pink pussy of an asshole gets all torn up by 10 big black dicks, all carrying some form of virus. Can you shut up? They don't use condoms in prison, Corey. Trying to help you. This is your get out of jail free car. Take it. Take it. Don't be the fall guy. Can you get off my property now? Get over here. So? He wanted me to say the weed was yours. What'd you tell him? What the fuck you say to him, Corey? You didn't say anything, did you? No, I told him, go talk to my lawyer. But... But what? But he said the lawyer that you got me is no good. And that I'm gonna wind up in jail. You're not gonna go to jail your first possession charge. Hell, the only thing they have on you is conspiracy. You start telling them we're all working together, they're gonna get us on these bigger charges. I guess so. You don't rat on your friends, Corey. You never rat on your friends. Yep. You wanted me to say the piece was your piece was your piece was your piece of 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 your gets busted. We don't keep it in my house anymore. You start telling them. Yeah, where do you keep it? You start telling them. We're at the shop. Yep. Yeah. 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 I didn't. No. No, I, I told him, go I talk didn't. to my lawyer. But I didn't. But what? But he said the lawyer that you got me is no good. And that I'm gonna wind up in jail. No. Here's the application Benson filed for your search warrant. Gets real interesting about page seven. Informant number one, Donnie Brascarelli. They say that he's willing to testify. To what? I never saw the Donnie. According to that document, Corey did. 
And through him, Donnie had knowledge of your marijuana enterprise. I wasn't caught with anything. They put Donnie on the stand, and he says that you were the brains behind the operation. It doesn't matter what they caught you with. So what do we do? We plea bargain. To what? Conspiracy. You're not guilty. I am if Donnie testifies that I am. What does that mean? I'll serve a few years. You're not going to jail. If we take it to trial, it's going to get a lot fucking worse. I'm going to take the deal. No, little man, you don't understand. You can't go to jail. Why not? I'm pregnant. Piece of shit like Donnie around every day. They're called coke dealing snakes. You fuck with them, you're gonna get bit. So now what the fuck? Wanna play it safe? Save your money, take a plea. A whore. You want any chance to beat in this case? I have Donnie clipped. Stuff? Yep. I got a big fucking heart on too. So jerk off. I'm not here to trade. Oh, I got the Oxy 80s. Fine. Not fine. Taking ones like taking 16 perks. Swallow them whole. It'd be good and steady all day. But if you crush them up, you fuck up your respiratory system and you'll shit the bed. I can handle it. Well, Okay, babe. Stupid cocksucking bitch. This is the greatest pill. I mean, it just lets you fall away from all your trouble. The ones I take the 16 packs, she was just about well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Party in this motherfucker. Nigga, you see somebody white? 
B. You see somebody white at the end? Ain't nobody white in here. I have a lot of respect for you, too. You should. You're out on bond. Yeah. Partying with your bitches. You're about to get locked the fuck up. Yeah, you better get to the motherfucking get before my fucking so-called hospitality runs the fuck out. Donnie's gonna rat you out. Come again? When you go to trial, Donnie's gonna get on the stand and testify. You expect me to listen to this shit? No. I want you to read about it. <laughs> I want to see you on show today on the inside, you know? Remember that work he was doing? That high quality work? It's a whole new job the pigs never knew about. Eight hours of work. It's up to me to get the job done, but it's not my specialty. It's yours. What's the hourly rate? 1500 an hour, shit. I'll let the whole job go for eight Gs. Why not just sit on it? Ugh, fucking legal fees, man. I don't fork some money to my lawyer, he's gonna stop taking my calls. Why aren't you just gonna give it to you? Who the fuck do you think paid for it? Let me see the job. I gotta do this at a time and a place where the pigs ain't on my ass. At one o'clock, the surveillance shifts. I can sneak out of my house, grab some job materials. I'll meet you at the site. All right, man. Thanks, brother. Hi. I just had to leave my condo because my neighbors are making a lot of noise. I thought I'd better call the cops. What's up? 57 Union Street, apartment 302. He's beating his girlfriend and he sounds like he's gonna kill her. What are you doing? Come on, get up. Where are we going? The abortion clinic. No, we're not. Yes, we are. No, no, no I, I ain't getting a fucking abortion. Like it or not, bitch, fucking go. No. Move your ass, yes. come on. Fucking What's going on here? Sir, nothing. Doesn't sound like nothing. No, my boyfriend was just playing the radio. Was... Okay, where's your boyfriend at? You tell this bitch if she doesn't get her ass down to the abortion clinic, all right, I'm gonna relax. kick her in the fucking just stomach. Just relax, all right? Hey, 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 fucking bitch! That's it, turn around right now, you're going to jail. What's your fucking You fucking fuck? whore, oh, fuck! Just relax, buddy. What the fuck is that? Get right on the fucking thing, you fucking bitch! Are you okay, fucking Okay, just hard? relax, let's go. Can I just go see him, please? No. I just want to say- He just assaulted you in front of us. He's going to jail. I need to get your information. He doesn't mean to assault me. What's your name? Hi. What's your name? Well, it wasn't McCarthy. 
Been locked up the last 24 hours on a domestic. Who's our next contestant? Uh, take your pick. You know how many coke dealers this guy ratted out? Well, Donnie, I guess I'm the only one sad to see you go. You were a good snitch. Without Donnie or Corey around to point the fingers at you, what have they got? Some of the walk. Man. Well, not exactly. I got him talking, though. Three years, suspended sentence, plead to conspiracy, and you see a P.O. once a week. That's it? And you sign over your cars and your cash. That's almost $100,000. That's everything I work hey, for. Hey, my job is to keep you out of the big house, not the poor house. I've been doing a lot of thinking lately. About my mom and um Corey. I miss them so much. It's fucking fucked up. Really fucking bad. You see I'm trying And uh I was just thinking like with everything that I lost. I think maybe you could keep it. Do you want me to keep it? I think we should keep it. You just made me so happy. Wait till you see all the things I have picked out for the baby. I'm on probation. So, uh, I guess I have to get a real job. <laughs> Gotta support the kid, right? What about your business? The cops will be on to me. How are we gonna live? We'll get by. Get by? How? These cars here, have, uh, they have a limited powertrain warranty. So it's 90 days or 3,750 miles. 60 days or 2,500 miles, whatever comes first. Or 30 days or 1,250 miles. I'm gonna put this over. Okay, I'll be back in one minute. Did you bring it? Yeah. Keep your fucking day job this time, though, okay? Promise. But seriously, little man, no more of your bullshit, all right? I wouldn't even be doing this shit if I didn't need the money. But you know how it is, man. You know how much those fucking diapers cost? Yeah, I know. You leave that shit? I'm a family man now, just like you. Yeah. Welcome to hell. You know, you look like a douchebag in that tie. Pop 49! Little man, things are good for where I'm at. I found Jesus. new plan on getting an early release. You should see me though carrying a Bible around and shit. <laughs> Hit me back. Your boy Wow Watch. Uh, P.S. I can't believe you had the kid with Alexis. I'd almost rather be locked up in here than be stuck with that crazy bitch for 18 years. <laughs> That mother to the bank. I want two, I want two, three, four.
JP, there's only three there. There's only three people doing it. Midget, you're up. Not for you. Hey, man. Can I get a hat, a little Can't bump or something? I'm just... Step back, please. Get back. I'm back. Is that one for me? Joey B, brains, you're up. Yo, save me half. Nope. Tell him to save me half. Enough is enough. I said fucking no. Can I do a little one? You owe me for fucking last week. You so I money? got this job right here. I'll pay you tonight. And when am I going to get some money? Tonight. How about this? I'll give you a fucking line. I'll give you the fattest line you've ever seen. You do it, I'll give you the rest of the pile. No joke. I can't do all that. Yes or no? Yeah. No, not yeah. Yes or no? Yes. You got to do the whole fucking thing. You choke, you're done. Run it. Come on, big boy. Let's go.